Hi, I'm Matt Williamson with Yard Barker here to talk about the Cowboys going to Seattle to take on the Seahawks. Should be a really, really good game. And two teams I was super high on before the season still have a lot of hope for Dallas. Seattle's playing phenomenal. But considering the state of these two divisions, it might be more important for Seattle, considering how poorly the rest of the NFC East is playing right now. Um, but no one in the league is playing better than Russell Wilson. And that is something that really can be said over the past several years, not just 2020, where right now I guess he's probably the leader in that clubhouse to be the MVP. And the Cowboys secondary could have a real tough time with DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett. Uh, the deep ball should really worry Dallas this week. Is it, It's been a problem for them this year, as well as a great strength for Wilson, who's probably the best deep passer in the league. Early indications are that Seattle will be far less run heavy, and that makes them far more difficult to play against. But that's not to imply that Chris Carson won't have success on the ground. Uh, Seattle's offensive line is at a big disadvantage in protection, however. That, that front for the Cowboys is pretty fierce all of a sudden. As for the offensive lines, the Cowboys front five is a shell of what it's been in recent years. Seattle will probably dial up a lot of blitzes, you know, namely with Jamal Adams. But overall, Dak Prescott should have plenty of time in the pocket, even with questionable play, especially a tackle. And as good as Adams and company are in the second and third levels, Dallas's weaponry in the passing game is just simply superior. Uh, that goes for you know Zeke Elliott as well uh, as a pass catcher, and certainly the Cowboys' three exceptional wideouts. This should be an Elliott-centric game plan, though, for Dallas this week. And his success on the ground could determine the outcome of the game. And while I do expect a big all-around day from Elliott, you know, particularly on the ground, betting against Wilson right now is just bad business. I mean, he's just too good of a player for me to think Dallas goes into Seattle and gets this win. So I have Seattle in a high-scoring game. 32 27 something like that 32 28 um and it might not even hurt dallas that bad to drop the one and two considering we're at the, the state of their division thanks so much i am matt williamson with yard barker